Hello, how's it going? Good morning, good morning. Um, we made it to Tuesday, can't believe it. Um, we're here at the 27th of April and it's gorgeous out here. I'm sitting on the ground of my deck because it was too sunny up there. Um, yeah, it's like gorgeous blue skies, sunny and warm. Can't believe it. Um, just got back from Missouri from the Cherry Blossom Festival and we just had such a good time. Oh my goodness, so great. Um, we were there. There were three of us from Little House. Um, Allison Arngram, Nellie Olson, and Charlotte Stewart, Miss Beetle, and me. And we just had such a good time. Um, it was so fun to hang out. You know those times when you're like, you're excited about going, but then you get there and you realize how very much you needed the break and you needed to see the people and hug them and hang out. And so it was just really, really great. We had such a good time and um, I got to try snails for the first time. Sorry, somebody just called. I stopped it. Um, yeah, so I tried snails for the first time. Allison and Charlotte said I had to try snails and I have got to say they were pretty good. Um, I kind of felt like it tasted like a, like a, um, uh, like a mushroom, like a grilled or sauteed mushroom smothered in butter and garlic and Parmesan cheese, which was heavenly. So yeah, had a really, really good time. Had so much fun seeing a lot of you who, um, I just tell you, it's so amazing when I like see your names, but then you come up to the table and you say, I am so-and-so and I go, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're here. Like, it's just so fun. So, um, yeah, it was really great. And, um, let's see, I did get to see a few friends. I told you guys about this last year or last week, last year. Yeah. It feels like a year ago. Um, I had lunch with my friend Shelly um, on Wednesday in Dallas on my way in and then um, had lunch with my friend Elizabeth on the way back and so many people were like, wait a minute, not fair. How do those fans get to, oh, I got low power mode, man, I'm just not doing well this morning. Sorry about that. Um, so many people will walk up and say, wait a minute, I want to be a fan that becomes a friend and how are you going out to lunch with them and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I have to tell you that there is history with these fans. So you have to know that it's not like you just met them once and then all of a sudden they're taking me out to lunch. You know what I mean? So, um, Yes, it takes time, just like any relationship takes time. And it also takes investment because these people I met and spent like a whole weekend with them. So um, Shelly, I met her at a writer's conference and she's the one who, when she heard that I was baby Grace, she started crying. <laughs> And it was like, oh my goodness. And so then the rest of the four days that we were there, every time she saw me, we talked, she asked me questions, and then we just kept in contact. And we actually, my agent and her literary agent work for the same agency. And so we get to know each other once in a while. So anyway, so that's Shelly. And then Elizabeth, I actually met in Walnut Grove and just have this really cool connection because of something that happened in her past as a moment of grief and something that happened to my mom, actually the same thing, my dad, when my dad passed away. And so we just had this really cool connection. And then um, when I was in Texas, uh, let's see, a year and a half ago, she, I went to her church and spoke to her like women's group at her church. And so then we hung out and we all went to dinner afterwards and now all of a sudden we are friends. So it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of time and effort and all of that. So I did have quite a few people that begged me to, um, that they wanna be like those kind of friends. And I said, all right, well, let's get started. Let's start working on it. So 
I'm gonna mention the few that totally walked up and said, I wanna be a friend, you know what I mean? And I'll say that there's three that, that did that this weekend, um, Sally. And Sally like made me cry in the middle of the autograph session telling me about taking care of her husband Howard who has been on hospice since December and um, just taking care of him for seven years now. And so Sally mwah, and, um, and then Jonna, I met Jonna and Jonna was just the sweetest thing ever asking like how could it ever be possible that we could be friends not just she doesn't want to be just a fan she wants to be a friend and i said well let's get started you know and so we talked and talked and gave each other more than a few hugs and um i think we're well on our way so that was jonna and then the last one was janet and janet such a sweetie and her husband jim and her daughter claire i had met them last Missouri um, Cherry Blossom Festival. So we are well on our way too. And I just had to keep saying in my head so I could remember their names and remember what's going on with them. So um, yeah, it was just great. So anyway, um, let's see. Somebody just asked a question. Do you have any leftover wagons or stuff you took with you to the festival? Yes, I've got tons. Go to my Etsy shop, Wendy Lou Lee's Prairie Shop. You can go into Etsy, you can search Wendy Luli. Wendy is W-E-N-D-I, just so you know. You can also search for a Prairie Devotional. You could even search for like covered wagon ornament and it'll come up. So go on there, I've got tons of stuff. I just took out like four orders that kind of stacked up while I was gone yesterday. So yeah, and you know, the other thing is, is if you didn't get to go to the reunion or the, the festival and it's something that you just think, man, I wish I could go, um, there's other ways to engage. You know, there's totally other ways to engage. Um, I just got a request yesterday from Coach the World for Gina and Gina's on here. I saw you. Um, Gina and I are going to hang out. She booked a session to hang out for half an hour with me. And I just, Gina doesn't even know this, but I just added on the little description that if you if you book a session, you'll get a, um, a uh, picture, autograph picture mailed to you. So, um, yeah, um, it's just like a perk to say, hey, I'd love to hang out with you so that it feels like you were at an event, you know what I mean? Um, the other thing somebody said, is the book signed or Etsy? Yes. Okay. Um, so on Etsy, they come straight from me. So the Etsy, that's my shop. But I actually will sign them, personalize them however you want. And then I actually mail them out. So reunion shirt. There are, I don't think there's a reunion shirt for the um, Cherry Blossom Festival. That happens in Walnut Grove and some of the other historical sites when they have their annual days. But I don't believe that, that the Cherry Blossom had a reunion shirt. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone that went to the festival. Um, and let's see, got another question here. What was your favorite part of the festival? Okay, my favorite part of the festival was honestly just talking to everyone that came up to my table and just wanted to shoot the breeze with me. There was a point on, Friday was really busy, but Saturday got kind of slow. And I just, I just got to really, really hang out with people and just talk to them and listen to them and hear their stories. And um, yeah, so that's my favorite part. And you know, the best thing about Cherry Blossom Festival is that the autograph shows go on and on and on and on. Literally, we are sitting there from nine in the morning until three in the afternoon. And while that gets a little exhausting, the cool part is that there's so much time. You don't have to feel like you have to rush anyone through. And that is so awesome because when we're in Walnut Grove, oh my goodness, it's like two hours, I think it's a two hour 
autograph session and then a lunch break and then two more. And it just feels like you're so rushed. And then I just feel bad because I want to hear what people have to say. I want to be able to tell them a story. I want to be able to like connect with them and it makes it so much harder. So that's the coolest part about Cherry Blossom Festival for sure. Like definitely the best part. Um, Kathy just asked, are you coming to Walnut Grove this summer? I wish it's not on the schedule. Um, Walnut Grove generally, the cast comes every five years. Um, once in a while, they might have just one cast member come for for like an in between year, but our next our next big reunion is let's see, 2024, and I'm hoping that I get invited to go. You never know. There aren't a lot of um, there aren't like unending spots, so you know I hope that I get to go, but. I know I'm not no Alison Argram. So I I tell people, they say, well, what? Why, how do you decide what you go to? And I say, if I get invited to go, I go. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, super excited about that. Um, you know, 2024, it's not three years away. So we'll see what happens. Um, let me see. What else do I have on my thing? Um, oh, I guess uh, somebody asked about, um, what am I trying to think of? Somebody asked about next year. If, if um, somebody asked if Lindsay are making an appearance. Blaine just asked about if Rachel Lindsay Greenbush and Danny Sanchez make an appearance. You know, they haven't been around for the last bit. The last time I saw Rachel and Danny was not this Christmas, but last Christmas in Burbank. We had a little house Christmas event in Burbank and they were there. But I don't know what's going on with, um, with Lindsay and, and uh, Danny. Love them. Love them. But um, yeah. Um, let me see. I got lots of questions this morning. I guess maybe because I'm I'm looking at the thing and I'm not reading. Oh, Marilyn just said, can we be email pals? Of course, email me. Yep, you guys email me. If you don't have my email address, go to my site, wendylulee.com. Go to the connect page and um, you can email me. Come straight to my email address and I answer every single one. But you have to be patient with me because sometimes there's a lot of them. So just be patient. I will, I will respond. Um, let's see. Anybody else have a question? Let's see. I'm, I'm scrolling back here through because there were so many questions today. Oh, somebody said the little house in the prairie t-shirt is the 50 year reunion shirt. Well, we haven't made it to the 50 year reunion yet. So I'm not sure about, about if that's even available yet. Uh, I wouldn't know. I know that, um, Amy in Walnut Grove would know. So, yes. Okay, and I'm just warning you guys that um, <laughs> my phone just gave me an alert that said I'm at 10%. Ha <laughs> ha, doing good. Okay, so that makes me think that we may not be reading the next chapter today. Um, sorry about that. Um, you know what? And it's actually okay because the next chapter is pretty heavy and it probably works out just perfect for next Tuesday. And I'll tell you why next Tuesday. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy right now. I don't know if I want to be crying on camera. So we'll leave that for next Tuesday and yeah. I think that's good. Um, I guess I have a question for all of you guys. Where, where should I go next? <laughs> I would love to put something on my calendar. Here's the funny thing. I almost always have, if you look on my website, I have a speaking page, an events page basically. 
and it always says, what are the events that are in the works? Where am I going next? Okay, craziness, but there is nothing coming up. So I started thinking about that. Actually, I was talking about it with Allison and Charlotte because they were, they were talking about summer and what's coming up. And I said, oh my goodness, I don't have any trips coming up. And they were like, well, what are you going to do about that? And I was like, I don't know. And I started thinking about it and I think I need to go somewhere. I think I need to find somewhere to go. So I'm sending it out. I'm willing to come. Do you have an event or something that you want to pull together? And maybe we can make it happen. I don't know. We'll see. So, you know me. I'm always looking for the next trip, the next event, the next fun weekend, and there's nothing on the calendar. As far as Little House goes, I will be in Colorado this summer for a family reunion, and I'm very excited about that. But, yeah. Um, somebody just said, Dismet! And I was like, yes, I'd love to go to Dismet. I know that Allison and Dean are, will be in Dismet this summer, and goodness sakes, I was, uh, I'm jealous. I'd love to go to Dismet. Yeah, I would love that. Oh, and somebody else said, come to Scotland. <laughs> yes, let's go to Scotland. That'd be fun. Although I don't know if we're flying out of the country yet, so I'm not sure if that works, Margaret, but I'd love to meet you in Scotland. <laughs> Oh, I see what Gina says now. Dismet this summer. It's the 50th reunion of the pageant. Okay, I didn't get it. You guys are way, way, way ahead of me. So, I wasn't sure about that. Um, yes, I would love to go to Dismet. Unfortunately, I was not invited to go to Dismet this summer. But, that's okay. So, um, somebody else said Keystone, South Dakota. Yes, that's where Charlotte will be. Charlotte will be in Keystone in June, July. It's right after the Dismet, the weekend after Dismet um, for the 50th. So yes, very, very exciting. Somebody says, come to England. I'd love to go to England. Um, um, let's see, Dismet's July. Yep. So yeah, I guess I need to find some somewhere to go. Oh, Mary just asked if I've ever been to Texas. Yes, I. my mom lives in Texas. And so I was there a year ago, November. I did an event at my mom's church. And then I also did an event in Arlington at Elizabeth Jensen Tires Church. So um, yes, been to Texas, but I'd go back. Of course I'd go back. So um Anyway, oh, somebody, okay, everyone's got questions this morning. My goodness. Okay, what part of Colorado will you, will you have your reunion? Okay, we are having a reunion in Winter Park near Fraser. Is that correct? It's a little town. It's called Fraser, but the area is Winter Park. That's where we're staying, and we're renting a big house, and me, my three sisters, and their families, and my mom, and my stepdad, Kurt, are all going to be there together, and pretty crazy, but I can't even believe that I'm saying this, but we have not all been together since, since my dad's, since my dad passed away and right after my dad passed away. So it's been about 15 years that we have not all been together. We have done things, but not every single person has been there. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. So we're super excited, super, super excited. But um, yeah, but um, everyone has lots of places they'd like me to go. Sounds really fun. <laughs> I would love to, I'm going to. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, and Christy, you're right. Christy just mentioned that I was in South Dakota for their little women's retreat last fall. So there's another place that was so fun. Just absolutely loved it. So yeah, if you have, if you have something going on and you want to have baby Grace come and share about all that stuff you want to hear about and 
yeah, how God moves even in the hard, dark places, then I'd love to. So let me know. Um, and uh, I'm not discounting virtual. I've done a couple virtual retreats in the last couple months and that has been super fun too. So if that works better for you, if people feel, feel more comfortable virtually, that works too. But yeah, I gotta get some stuff on the calendar, don't I? Maybe I just need to go on a trip by myself. <laughs> anyway, I am getting long-winded here. So I'm going to say goodbye and we will read uh, the next chapter in a prairie devotional next week. It is about my dad. And um, I think we're on chapter 33, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I'm looking forward to it. And I will see you soon. Feels so weird ending without reading a chapter. But um, I guess my encouragement would be like tagging on to last week's chapter about just having fun. Like, go have some fun today. What is it that you're gonna do? Go have some fun. Go have some fun, yeah. And um, hope you have a really wonderful, beautiful day, and I'll see you soon. God bless you.